Okay, so this is the area where we're going to build the ponds. And if you notice, it's very windy now that we're outside the lattice protection. And again, the lattice is brought to you as this video is by North Cal Wood Products. That's a commercial, by the way, in case you didn't realize that. Um, so anyways, here's the ponds. This will be about 5 feet tall, maybe 30 feet deep if we're allowed to go that deep. Inside the lattice, look how much the wind has died down. All right? Now the wind's blowing pretty strong. Now of course we're going to plant sunflowers on the inside because sunflowers help chicken feathers and chicken eggs. And ivy on the outside, you know, maybe grapes, you know, things that can fall into and feed the chickens, whatever they like to eat. They like to eat everything, I tell, heard. But um, again, that will help block the wind even more, create more shade, keep it cooler in the middle of the desert. Okay, so look at the size of this area. This is going to be where our range-free chickens are going to be. Okay, the chickens will go in this entire area all the way to the house. And that's going to be a pump house combination, little chicken uh, coop. And over there to the right, is the barn which will turn into a complete chicken coop. So now I talked to Frank from and Tony from NorCal Wood Products and Frank told me that I cannot put a chicken um, jacuzzi in the chicken coop because chickens drown. So we're not going to do it the chicken jacuzzi. Well I said well what about chicken spa? I mean, we want to treat our chickens good. We're going to feed them hemp seeds and see what happens to the organic eggs and see if the omega-369 content of the chicken eggs are much higher because they're going to eat a lot of uh, hemp seeds, which is a superfood for those that you that do not know that. And uh, maybe we'll give them hemp oil. We'll experiment and then we'll analyze the content of the egg. So he said, no, you can't do a sauna, a chicken sauna. But Tony told me that we can definitely do a chicken manicure section. So I, had to, I haven't figured out where the chicken manicure section will go. But um, thanks to Tony from NorCal Wood Products, we will have chicken manicure just a, but it, and it will be organic fingernail polish. Okay, here's um, this area over here is going to be for irrigation because right now the, the blue things is, uh, that's a technical term. The technical term is the blue things. And there's one of the blue things. And that's part of the irrigation system. The chickens don't like blue things in their coop. So we'll bring those outside into this section. Now, if you notice how windy it is right here, because we're outside the lattices again. So NorCal Wood Products lattices dramatically cut the wind, and they create an enormous amount of shade, as you can see. Okay, now, now over here is the back kids' domain. There will be a 12 to 15 foot walkway. We'll plant our line of polonia trees starting about right here. Okay. We'll plant um, the ivy or the honeysuckle or the night blooming jasmine or the roses to help uh, grow up the lattices and make more cool uh, windbreak and cooler area. We'll then start the second row. It's 12 to 15 feet of polonia trees. And right about here, we'll start the second kin's domain. Again, we'll plant the polonia trees on this line here. And notice we have nothing but a desert behind us. Now, this is a pretty dramatic difference between what's back here and what you just saw. All right? So even in the desert. And for those of you who have never seen uh, the greening of the desert, just Google the greening of the desert, and you'll see some dramatic examples of what you can do uh, in a desert property. All right, now, over there, we still have... Oh, I think the water's still on. Well, let's go walk over and see the first thing that we've done in the back kids' domain, which is not a lot right now. Uh, in the earlier video, you saw the 40 by 40s. Well, we changed the configuration to be a 40 by 80 organic garden. And you know, the nice thing about out here is that we have um, a lot of water. We have that well is 900 feet. 
date I checked. Uh, the original owner took two years to build and then dig that well. So we have a lot of water, which I thought. But you notice that there's melons growing in this area. So we'll start with the melons. These melons actually sprouted up here on their own because the guy was an organic farmer about five years ago. And uh, so, uh, and notice I planted my little tomatoes right here. I mean onions. Those aren't tomatoes, those are onions. Even a city slicker can come out here and build a kin's domain. I discovered that I planted my potatoes upside down the first time. And I left the water on the second time. Don't tell my wife. And here's a, some melons growing. So this is the back kin's domain. Also, we have a lot of quartz uh, on this land, which means there's gold around. I collect the quartz. See, we'll probably make some really nice artistic product using quartz from our kin's domain. Now look back here from this vantage point, and you can see the beautiful lattice fence from NorCal Wood Products. That's a commercial again, in case you haven't realized that. And please watch the short video on NorCal Wood Products. You pick it, we ship it. And again, nobody else does that. And for everybody who's building a Kins Domain, uh, this will streamline the whole entire process of building Kins Domain in America. And soon the world, they will be doing this worldwide. And uh, no one, nobody does that at the price they do it for. All green natural wood. Please watch the video below this one or the next one on NorCal Wood Product. So let's go look at some other uh, melons growing in the ground. Over here we have this beautiful tomato plant growing. Again, you can grow food in the desert. We hardly did anything here. Didn't even water it that much. But uh, if you notice these beautiful, beautiful tomatoes, they're green right now. They'll turn red later. I think they're tomatoes. You know, I grew up in the city, I'm not sure. But here's some other tomatoes starting to grow. Here's one. Um, let's see. Oh, here's a little tomato. See this little one here? So again, and I don't know for those of you, if you've ever eaten an organically grown tomato in your backyard, you will never, ever eat another store-bought tomato again. They pick them green because they pick them up machinery. They formaldehyde gas them to turn them red. And um, you're not getting a very nutritious product. So the tomatoes that we grow in the Ken's Domain will be, are these watermelon or cantaloupe? No, the tomatoes that we grow in the, in the Ken's Domain will be big. We're going to use technologies that are very advanced, not just permaculture. We'll be using things like sauna bloom, structured water, and... Um, a lot of paramagnetic uh, uh, fertilizer, paramagnetic dust, a lot of things that people are not very aware of, as well as all the natural uh, kind of companion planting. So we have a lot of video footage to shoot as we build our kin's domain step by step. Again, look at these beautiful, beautiful tomatoes. Remember, even a city slicker can come out and live out in the woods, and we're showing you at least 100 ways or 200 ways to make money when you do that. Of course, with the internet, you can figure out there's 200 ways right there, but um, we'll be showing you that in later versions. And again, I'd like to thank NorCal Wood Products for bringing us this beautiful lattice fencing to protect our chickens, to protect them from the wind, protect them from the coyotes, and protect them from the sun out here in the desert. Thank you for joining us at Kins 101, and remember to watch the video below us, or below us over there, on NorCal Wood Products. Thank you.